All right, YouTube. How you guys doing today? Man, I don't even know how to come at this. I really don't. This video is really deep. I mean, I have it right in front of you. Now, before I say what I have to say, let's just get into this video because once again, this is my subject. A wife, a man catches his woman cheating, right? But now they saying that he's going to go to jail for catching his wife cheating. Mommy. Let's get into the story. Punished twice, a husband who filmed himself catching his wife in bed with her boss could now face up to 15 years in prison for illegal surveillance after tracking them with his, his iPhone app. But who's more in the wrong here? We're going to debate it now. Attorney Lisa Garber and a criminal defense attorney and former head county prosecutor Robert Biacci. And we've been sitting here already debating this before the <laughs> segment even started because it really is an interesting case. And, Robert, you think about this man, this husband, what he's dealing with just emotionally of catching his wife cheating on him with her husband. And now this whole thing is public, mainly his fault for that. If he, We don't know if he released these videos or not, but he could go to jail. If this man goes to jail, and I can tell you as the head prosecutor, when these cases would come through, you look at a number of different circumstances and you apply the rule of reason as to whether somebody should go to jail for the same amount of time somebody that committed a rape or a murder sometimes goes to jail. This was a man who was distressed. There was infidelity. The burglary charge that was filed, we were talking about this before a little bit off, uh, you know, off the camera, is not a valid charge because you have to have an intent to commit a crime when he went in there. All he was doing was trying to catch his wife in an act of infidelity. Was it a good thing to do? No. But from a prosecutor's point of view, I'm not putting somebody in jail for this. So to help people understand the story that haven't been, been following it, this man was following his wife on the iPad app, found where she was in this home, ended up walking in the house. It was unlocked, right? The door was. Went in, found them together in the bedroom, and then filmed a couple videos, and then I guess got into some altercations. Lisa, you see this from a cybersecurity angle. What concerns you about what happened? Well, first thing, I think people don't realize what the settings are on all of these devices, and this happens on smartphones now. Find my iPhone, find my iPad. You can track everybody. You're basically permitting it, especially in a family setting, depending on who has access to your device and your cloud accounts. It's so important to understand that. Is that illegal to do, though? It's completely legal, especially because the spouses are likely sharing this responsibility to pay for these devices. Mm -hmm. And the other issue is he filmed right. these people in the midst of an act. And in New Jersey, that's invasion of privacy. There's federal and state law that comes that? into play, but New Jersey, New Jersey especially, oh, really, they really... stop this. It's, it's, he was evading property. I mean, this is his wife. But still, because she was on somebody else's property, he broke the law. Let's get it. Really protect invasion of privacy issues. So that could be where the problem lies. Robert, I'm thinking about the jury here. When they're sitting there and they're listening to this man emotionally talking about what he's gone through with his wife cheating on him with her boss. How is that going to play? Okay, first of all, he was overcharged. Secondly, that's a great point. It's called jury nullification. We know this is prosecutors having tried lots of cases that mm -hmm. they could say technically he violated, violated the law, but they're going to feel so sympathetic to him. Exactly. They're going to understand that this was a really unbelievable situation. Since the caveman, spouses have been going to other caves and spying on other spouses who have been committing But we didn't always know about that, Lisa. But that's what makes it more challenging right. today. And, Bob, I have to say, you know, it reads like a 60s Italian cinema with Marcello Mastriani <laughs> and, you know, divorced Italian style. But two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, and but when you're talking about the jury, looking at the idea. She talking about two wrongs don't make a right. You no. follow your wife into somebody's house. How is he wrong? What do you mean two wrongs don't make a right? He can say something yeah, putting somebody in jail for something like this. This wasn't like a random stranger that went into a location and decided it's that he was going to film somebody. a random stranger who walked into the woman's boss's home. Yeah, but, I, you know, first of all, he was following his son's iPad. It wasn't even her iPad. And I just don't see 12 people beyond yeah. the reasonable doubt pushing a button and putting that man in jail. I don't you know, see it. It speaks to the challenges we face going forward with technology and with these things. They've happened for years and years, but how do we deal with it today the is the question. Exactly. Now the technology is... So what do you think? Do you think that this man should go to jail? No. But now you have to realize he, because he was tracking, because they have a device, they pay for this device where they can track each other's phones. Uh, so he tracked the phone and he walked into somebody else. 
She wasn't at her home. She was at some, another man's home. So he did walk into his house. Well, that's trespassing. Right. Maybe, maybe, a, li- maybe a little it's bit. Maybe a month or two. But... So what the hell are you going to go to jail for? So do you think he should go to jail for that? Maybe like walk a couple, into another man's home? Maybe a couple weeks, a month, something. Like that. You usually will charge for trespassing like that. That's all. Maybe what, two, it can't be more than two I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out should he go to jail. I mean, maybe. Like more maybe. than two weeks. More, couple maybe weeks two weeks in jail. Right. Years. Right. Now, years this is one thing house. that I'm saying again, guys. Now, you see what I'm saying? Time. Time. Just because you think a girl is your wife, okay? Let me no. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the real camera when I talk about this, because I'm always talking about this. Just because that girl on paper is your wife, she's still not your property, dude. Uh, you don't own her. If she wants to do something else, you can't do nothing about that. Remember, and that's why I keep telling you guys about these women, man. You guys think because a girl give you your number or she buy you a drink. Or you, or she give you some that you own her. You don't own her, dude. Not a lot of people don't think. Okay, a lot of people think you don't like own her, so you need to stop. And you know what? You know what? I got somebody that got a better opinion than me. I got somebody that got a better opinion than me. Let's get it. I got somebody that got a better opinion than me about this situation. Here we go. Now this is what Tupac had to say. I'm a native. Niggas need to stop giving these bitches all the attention. That's why niggas is dying now. When these hoes get horny, niggas die. Hoes get horny, niggas die. Watch. Every time, every funeral you go to, it's a bitch that was horny the night before. So you need to start checking these bitches. Keep your dick in. Niggas need to go back to the OG penitentiary days and start jacking off. Because if you don't, you're going to end up killing each other. We're going to all die. We got to start saying, fuck these bitches, man. If you fucking with a cool female, that's all good. But if you fucking with a bitch, you need to break her ass and shake her ass. Bam! And that was it, right? That was the famous words from Tupac Shakur, okay? What he said, stop giving these girls all attention, man. Focus on your grind. If you that horny, before you even walk outside, put on a movie, use your goddamn hand, Jack off, get it over with. Now, when you outside, you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about your money, man. And that's how I feel it. Benjamin, in the house again with another video. I'm not even going to shoot no arrows at you. I'm about to shoot real ones at you this time. With another video. I'm gone.